What's happening? Ah, you tell me. Yeah, I'm going to LA to shoot a special. You know that the first thing they're gonna bring up is where uh, where you and Kel are. We're not a married couple anymore, a separated couple. Officially single. Rihanna from Team On 3 is gonna be in LA too. You know them, right? Yeah. We met a couple years ago at an MTV thing, and we just stayed in touch. Then when I went to Florida, took the boys to Disney. This week, Brittany and I are in LA for the VMAs. The last few weeks, I've been talking to Javi, Kaylin's ex online. Sometimes things get flirty, so people think we're dating. But despite all the rumors, we're just friends. The VMAs are in a few hours, and Lee is here too. So we're gonna meet up with her to get ready. Hi! Hey. Oh, a whole last light and everything. Yes. Yes. Hi! Yes. 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 Who's, who's doing my hair? Okay, girl, my hair needs to be curled on fleek. This is exciting. Have you sat down with any of the other girls? Um, no, the only person that I'm actually really close with is Javi. He's coming down to Orlando. I know, I'm so confused about that. Like, I don't know. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, I see you guys talk on Twitter, and then it just kind of looked like, I don't know. Listen, Javi's coming down to Orlando. OK, so it is something. Mm, not really, because he was coming down anyways to take Lincoln and Isaac to Disney. So he's going to stay with us at the same hotel and resort, and we're just going to hang out with the kids. Yes. But we're just friends. Right. So I See, think. I didn't know. So I think. Right. Who really knows, you know? No. I just don't know how Kale's going to feel about it. Uh, I don't think she'll be happy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think she knows that he's going to be staying at the same hotel as us with Isaac. But. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should, like, tell her. I don't know if it's my place to be like... I think Javi needs to know. Right? I think Javi's the person that needs to go about it. But I don't want her to be mad at me that I didn't say anything. But then again, I don't feel like it's and my she's place. She's probably going to be mad at her. Well, she has my number. And we could always talk about it. We're adults. Right. We are adults. Good buddy, go upstairs. So Leah called me, and I guess Brianna told Leah that her and Javi are sharing a hotel room in Orlando when he takes the boys to Disney. So I guess um, my problem is that I was told directly from Javi's mouth that he is going with nobody but the boys to spend quality time with them. Then now it's Brianna's going, but he has not told me that Brianna's going. But when I called and asked him, he told me it was none of my business. Are they, is, is that like his girlfriend? Is Brianna his girlfriend? I think Javi wants to be with her, I think. Javi wants to be with her? I think so. Okay. Like we already agreed. It's weird because like To pull you... Isaac out of school to go, on di to go to Disney. So it's kind of out of the question to let, to not let Isaac go. Well, yeah, he's been talking about it since like the spring and he's been wanting to go and I'm, Kind of curious, like what what's happening? Why is he like? How not, he likes the he eats. Why is he not just being honest? Like it just it just doesn't seem like something that you need to lie about. But also, Brianna, why do you feel so comfortable telling someone that I've been friends with for nine years? This, do you know what I'm saying? Like it's one of those things where I almost feel like Brie was trying to be messy. Like why would you feel comfortable enough to tell my friend that, knowing that we've been friends for damn near ten years? I don't know. Maybe she just didn't think of anything of it and just had a loose mouth or whatever. Just didn't really Well, that seems to care. be like a common thing with her, so. Just see, based on what I saw on TV, like about her story, and then all of this is just so messy. And Javi and I worked so hard to get to where we were co-parenting that for this to all be like hitting the fan and being messy because of their decisions is like, whatever. I don't want things to be awkward at the reunion. There's no hope for that. The Teen Mom 2 reunion is this week in LA, and Lincoln and Isaac aren't going because they have school. So I'm going to have to go grocery shopping after this. I can go shopping for the reunion. I need clothes, stuff for the baby. Who's going with you? Yeah. I was like, not really wanting to bring him because he's not vaccinated yet. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just like annoyed because I feel like he's going on the flight for the first time. He's not vaccinated. And then we're gonna go be around like all these people. There's hair and makeup and camera yeah. people. And like, 
so much, and he's still so little. And he's still so little, and so, like, I'm not, like, fully aware of, like, what the reunion's gonna look like. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, there's been, like, rumors of Javi and Brianna dating or whatever, and they just got back from Florida. I'm like, Leah called me and said that Javi and Brianna were sharing a room at the hotel, and then I called Javi, and Javi was like, none of your business, blah, 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 you know, all the drama with that. So I tried to FaceTime the boys and mm -hmm. while they were in Florida, and like they kept talking to somebody and I was like, who are you talking to? One of the boys I think told me that it was Nova. And I was just like, what? And then Javi like cut the call really short and like I didn't get to finish talking to them. Why are you being so shady? Like why when they tell me who it is on the phone, you cut the call short? Right. Like, well, cause he didn't want you to know. Like, I just don't, like, but why? Like, you're being shady. Like, yeah. you're the one that's acting like this. So how do you expect me to react when you're not being honest about what you're doing? Right. So now we're going to go to reunion. Me, Leah, Brianna, and right. Javi are all going to be there. Brianna texted me and was like, hey, Kael, it's Brianna. I just wanted to reach out to you and let you know that Javi and I are just friends. I don't want these rumors to come between anything. Didn't want you to feel disrespected in any way. They've been saying that they're not gonna date or whatever, but like to lie and say you're not together, like just be and then honest. to send a message like, like you were really just... hiding something, or you wouldn't go out of your way to be like, oh, it's nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean like if y'all are dating or if you guys you're, like, are thinking insecure, about dating, right. then just say that. Right. Could you imagine that someone that you work with is dating your ex-husband? Like that's right. weird. It's we weird. Just see her. Like, like it's, it's weird. It's not like. How is that gonna go? Like it's just kind of messy. Like, do you see yourself ever? Getting along with her if they no, are together? I don't. Just like I just I don't think she's a good person. I like tried. Now at this point, I just don't have anything good to say to her mm -hmm. about her. So yeah, kind of want it to be over. Everything was fine with Lux last night, so I decided to bring him to set today. And we're at a different studio, so I have my own dressing room. No one knows? Not the greatest. How's, not the greatest. How's, um, how, how are you and how's um, Lux? He's good. Awesome. Better. I'm bummed out. I left last night. You missed the rockin' party. Cause like, I like low-key didn't want to go. And then once I was already there and like ready, I was like, I kind of want to go. Well, you were missed. To be real, <laughs> it was real. boring as All right, well, that's cause, okay, well, then cause it was a TV <laughs> shoot. <laughs> So I get what we're really saying, Kale, is we needed you there to keep the party going. <laughs> you mean that everyone was gonna start arguing? <laughs> Truthfully. Well, who was gonna argue? Well, me and you don't talk, me and Janelle don't talk, Javi and I really don't talk. We're gonna address this, it's yes. just us two. What's the issue? My issue is that you texted me telling me one thing and then Javi's telling me another thing. What is Javi telling me? Javi's telling me that y'all are basically trying to be together. So I honestly do not care. If y'all date, and I told him that, but he needs to be real about it and you need to be real about it and that's so it. My whole thing is, is we can't tell you nothing if we don't know what's going on with us. We're friends. Right. All we are is friends right now. So I can't tell you it's gonna be more if it's not. And I can't tell you it's gonna be less if it's not. This is so out of control that I'm like, first of all, Javi, they would not have filmed Javi in Orlando if it wasn't for I'm Isaac going out. and y'all hanging out. And things got miscommunicated. I don't know what Leah told you. But what was said to me was that y'all were sharing a hotel. I got a three bedroom hotel, which is like an apartment. And I said, if you're gonna have Isaac in Orlando, you need to tell Kale. It's not my place to tell Kale that her kids are gonna be hanging out with us. That has to come from you because you're watching them. Right, I agree. And he didn't do that. Nobody was sleeping in no bed together. You're taking Leah's comment way too extreme. Everyone talked about it, so it's not just Nobody me. Nobody knew about me and Harvey being in a hotel room if it wasn't for Leah. Okay, well, you're the one that opened your mouth, so you can blame no, yourself. I don't appreciate those So you did share a hotel room? No, we didn't because the hotel didn't happen because of okay. Irma. Okay. So he ended up staying in his own hotel room. If you're still feeling salty about it, that's your personal problem, not mine. Salt? What is there to be salty about? You're salty. About what? You're salty. The hobby about is moving what? on. I don't give a He moves on, Brianna. Sure, I guess. You know what? To be honest with you, I think what we want is to see you guys work it out. That's why I would like to talk to all three of us, but without cameras, because this is clearly bigger than what we all thought. You okay? Yeah. 
People just got issues for no reason. You're making them issues. I'm no, you kidding. are, not me. Explain. I have no Explain issues. yourself because I'm asking no, you. Yesterday, when you walked in, you was really loud mouth. Okay, I'm and you're the first one of all, the issue. First of all, don't get disrespectful with my mom. First of all, don't I'm going to have a conversation with her. With my mom. She talked to me, so I will answer her. Don't I'm going to talk to her. With my mom. I'm talking to your mom. Obviously, the whole thing is just a mis. Communication? It, it, it is. Yeah, absolutely. It is. But if you know it's a miscommunication, how you behaved yesterday was inappropriate. I had nothing to do with her. Okay. My fit was because my the baby was here and there was no accommodation for him. Oh, you said you don't want me or Javi or Janelle in front of your kids. No, I don't want to well, sit around you guys. Well, no. Well, yeah, exactly. So you but felt some type of side? way about me being well, in one, that room. I, I was not talking to you. I wasn't speaking. I know you speaking. wasn't talking to me, but you was talking about me. No, what I'm saying is me and you weren't All speaking. Right, shut up your noise. Don't dismiss me, Bye, bitch. Brittany. Cause you don't know who the you're with. Bye, I tell you that Brittany. right now. Okay, Brittany. No. Okay. It's not okay. Okay. Because you're mad over your ex man who you played like my sister. That's mm -hmm. how it started. Okay. Yeah. So don't come at my sister like that. Ooh, bitch. You don't even know. You. There's three security guards around me. Right? Stop. Stop. Where's Javi? Where's Javi? He ain't here till two o'clock. And when he gets here at two o'clock, then we go. Well, Yes, I'm explaining to do, Lucy. It's not that serious. It's literally you made it to this where we okay. are right you don't now. Have to be y'all don't have to be disrespectful the way you are. I mean, come on. Not y'all. Hey, what are you doing? I'm in a dressing room with your yeah. with your ex-wife. Oh, what time are you getting here? Two hours. See if you can come earlier. Why? Cause there's problems. Okay. All right, bye. Am I done? Oh! What the f am I still doing here then? Thank you, Chris. You're welcome. I shall see y'all on the flip side. I want to make sure you're all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to have a conversation with Javi and Brianna separate. Or? What I want to do is create a place where you go and you will have your private conversation off camera. I'm not doing it right now. I'm not doing it today. You tell me. No, you tell me. You yo. tell me. What's Come on, don't on? talk to me. Let's talk. Let's, I don't know. Let's talk. You gotta bring Kayla to talk. She won't talk to nah, you. Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna talk to Kayla. I'm gonna talk to Kayla myself. Why? What happened? No, I gotta be there because. What happened? She's. I don't know how it started. She was just like, somebody's lying. Nobody's communicating to me what's really going on. And I'm like, um, I don't know. Word. Nah, and I just wanna make sure you're all right first. I'm always okay. You are. All right. I'll make sure, so I'm gonna talk no, to Kale. She said she won't talk to all three of us. I'm not. This isn't Kale's Kale's not running this. Like I know she's not. Okay, so I'll talk, I'm gonna go talk to her right now. I'm coming. Stop. Let me no, talk to her first. Nah, let me talk to her first. Yo, don't try to act hard with me. No, I'm fine. Don't, yo. Let's go. Yo, free. Don't try to act like that with me. I'm not, but yes, you are. somebody's lying. Somebody's lying. Nah, we're gonna figure this out because I'm gonna squash it. They wanna barge into my room. I could barge into theirs. Don't act. Come on. I'm not doing this on camera. Okay, they can, they can stay outside. I'm, I'm gonna talk I'm to you. Gonna... They can stay outside. It's so Jerry Springer, and I'm not. You did Jerry Springer. You did this. this. Yes, you did. You did this. You did this. Stop. Let me talk to you. Look, Are you for real right now? You did all of you this. You literally sat there and were like, "Shut up, you're annoying. Shut up, you're annoying. Shut up, you're annoying." Because you are. So and how were you yesterday? Okay. How, how were you yesterday? Um, first of all, it had nothing to do with. It me. had everything. No, to do I said with I don't me. want these people around my kids. These people generally had this conversation already. So have a nice day, Brianna. All right, well, let me talk to you. I don't want to talk to you right now. If you want to, if you want to talk about this, we'll go back to the hotel and talk about it, but not here. Well, the camera's still wait out here. We can talk. Have a nice day, guys. We agreed to go on stage with Brianna and Janelle as long as we don't have to talk about any of our issues with each other. But it's so uncomfortable. Sorry, it's taking long. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. Oh, oh, this is so awkward. Oh my God, they legit have like some crazy here. Anyway, how was your date with Javi? 
Bobby, it was nice. I had a good time. We had some good food. We spoke about, you know, the future and what's going to happen with us. So are you with him or not? And stop beating around the bush? Yeah, the we're together. We're together. Okay. We're boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, so um, Lincoln's birthday is coming up, and Javi invited me and the girls to Delaware to celebrate his fourth birthday. So I'm going to go because... Nova wants to hang out with the boys. Like, what family members are gonna be there? His whole family is gonna be there. I'm gonna be staying at his house, and he lives with his mom and his dad. Ooh, so I'm gonna cool. be there. But um, now Kale is giving him a hard time because they were gonna do the birthday together, and now they're not doing it together because she found out that I was coming, so she wants to have her separate party. He's like stressed out because he doesn't know like where to get invitations or what cake. So I've been helping him out and figuring it out and looking up places and stuff. Guys really can't be by themselves. No. Oh, yeah, and, and I got some matching t-shirts for everybody. Well, that's a bit too much, though, but it's cute. It'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. We're going to some bouncy place, but Kayla's obviously upset about me and Javi. I just want to, you know, try to squash the beef. I want to contact her to see if we can meet up in Delaware to talk, have dinner or something, just to, like, squash everything, because there's no reason why we have to hate each other. Like. You know, so you think it's, a good it's idea not like she—it's not her? like he wasn't a regular boyfriend. It's her husband, ex-husband. It's deeper yeah. to her. But if you want to talk to her and you reach out, that's a good deed on you. If she doesn't take up your offer, then that's her. Yeah, that's on her. Yeah, baby mama drama is never fun. I dropped Lincoln off at school this morning, and Hobby's picking him up later because his birthday party for Lincoln is tomorrow. Hey. 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 Oh, you look different with your glasses. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm finally wearing them. You look so, so like you're not squinting. smart and professional. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not like. She said you're not squinting. Yeah, she's not squinting for a while. I don't recognize her either when hey, she's not squinting. I haven't seen you in so long. I know, it's been oh a hot God. minute. Oh, my God. Where's Vivi? At school? Yeah, she's at school. <sighs> So Brianna started a group chat with me and Javi. Oh, you guys are getting along now? <laughs> she said, I'll be in Delaware if you want me. If you want, we can we can meet up. I said, no, you disrespected me, so we'll leave it there. She said, she said, why are you so concerned about what Javi does with me? I said, I'm not. She said, yes, you are. I said, you can have my ex. And then I said, sloppy seconds. Clearly, there's enough to go around. And then she said, you can come to me. I said, have a good night. And she said, shut the up, because now I'm mad. My you dumb bitch. Oh my god. She went wait, so wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> Dom said she went so hard. She went so hard. We were literally sitting there eating like, oh why is she god. so mad? She went from like a zero to oh 100. God. And it was Holy so She said that I'm lucky and she's going to leave it at that because she's in Delaware this weekend. I was like, I'm not going to fight her. Like, I'm just not, you're, you have two kids. I have three kids. I'm not fighting you. Mm -hmm. Like, you're literal trash. Javi is letting Brianna do this, which is affect, it's gonna affect our co-parenting. Co <coughs> yeah, that's the only thing I'm mad Javi about. Javi and I had like, just I don't want gotten him into to, a like, place. push it back. Yeah. We had just gotten into a really good place, and I feel like he is, I don't want anything to do with him. Like, I want nothing, to, literally nothing to do with him. I don't even I don't want to co-parent with him at this point, yeah. because. Yeah, it's setting you that's back so, so many steps. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I don't want to spend any more time, like, talking about it. Like, I'm sorry that you're that bothered. <laughs> And that's crazy. ignorant to tell me to but This reunion is going to be different from any we've done before and in more ways than one. One of the main storylines that we watched this season was an ongoing feud between Kaylin and Brianna. When the cast came together in New York, Kaylin and Brianna agreed to sit down for what was supposed to be a chance to make peace. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. Bitch, stay the oh, away. You're loud. Bitch, you're loud. stay the Way, okay? So Kaylin and Brianna took some time to let the dust settle, and eventually the entire cast came downstairs so we could begin shooting, but the drama spilled over into the studio. Let's give a warm welcome to Leah. <laughs> Kaylin, Chelsea, Bob, Joe, Brittany. <laughs> as close as they can possibly. For what? Just we want everybody to be safe and everything to play fair. And just want everybody to We're gonna have fun. This is unseen fun mamas, show. for Christ's sake. This no, is it's a, not fun. Right. What up? How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Good, good. Nice seeing you. I'm that way. No one the like <laughs> they don't. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is Brianna. Oh, my sister, I'm going home. That's 
Mark, this isn't about you. This isn't about you. This is, excuse me, you're No, let me Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. No, 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 no. I'm trying to get to you. No, you're not loud. I'm trying to get to you. Why are you going all the way around? You took my This weekend started out in a very tense moment. Things got heated when we attempted to shoot the Unseen Moment special. This is continuation of a conflict between Brianna and Caitlin that we've been following all season. I think most of you are aware of that. So they kindly have come out here to talk things out with me, and I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks. So, Brianna, what was that? Well, earlier today, Kale wanted to talk off camera in a private room to squash things out. So I get there and there's a whole bunch of security guys in there. And as soon as she gets in there, she has like her hair is braided. She has sneakers on, like she's approaching to me like she wants to fight. Obviously nothing's gonna happen because we're in a closed space and there's so many security guards in there. And she's just like, let me just hit you one time. Let me just hit you one time. Were people, did people witness that? No, it was off camera. She didn't want anybody to see anything. So, so she brought you in a room and said, let you hit her? No, or? she wanted to hit me. I don't, she wanted to hit me, so. For, for what? Did you say something about her kids? Did you say something about her, one of the ex-husbands? My whole thing is the whole time I was with Javi, all she did was talk about me. Meaning what? I saw text messages like, oh, that bitch, why are you with her? She's so ratchet that the hit Seuss family. Why are you at Disney with them? I don't want my kids next to them. Then the reunion comes, the last reunion, and she was acting all crazy. I'm like, bitch, it's really not that serious. Why are you acting like that? And it just escalated. Things escalated. I said that I probably shouldn't have like said. What? Like what? Did you cross some boundaries, some line? Did you? Did you no, she crossed a lot of. Or? No, she crossed mad boundaries with me. So that's that's my whole point. Like she talks all this crap. And then the moment I say something back, she wants to play the victim. That's not how it works. I'm sorry. Brittany, can you help me? All I want to say, Dr. Drew, is this is over a guy. It's not over it a guy. It started over a guy. It started over a guy. It started over a guy. Over, over a guy who ain't You're right. Who ain't You shouldn't be fighting with no girl over no guy from the get. Yeah, that's her baby daddy. Yeah, that was your boyfriend at the time. You should have never entertained the drama. No wing. Your family is going to, like, back you up whether you're right or wrong. You should have thought right. more about it. Like, and you're then you should have right. thought, is... Is is Javi even <laughs> worth it? Because he wasn't. They're not even together anymore. Like, if they were together still, happy as hell, I would be like, okay, the drama maybe was worth it. Because, like, at the end, you stayed together, and that's your husband or your man or the love of your actual life, you know? But... So, Brittany, you you apologized for how you behaved today. For last year. Oh, no, for last year. For, you you came out and you said Actually, something. this year I'm not apologizing because it's going to make me look stupid, so... I am sorry, I feel bad, but it's like, when I see my sister, it's like, nobody else matters. Like, it's just me defending my sister. Did you plan to attack her? No, hell no, I was the guarding her, because I was trying to talk to her, right? But then I was like, why would I try to talk to her? She just tried to hit my sister a couple hours ago when I wasn't even there. Like, what? That's up thinking, right? <laughs> it is, but y'all yeah. know that I have anger problems <laughs> from the last two times. They always say third time's a charm. I'm done. With what? It's just stressful. Bitch, you didn't have to come out like that, though, since you Yeah, but stressful. she didn't have to come at me sideways, either. Uh, she gonna jump off a cliff. Cliff, you gonna jump off one, too? Because that means I'm jumping, too. Whoa, whoa. After you. It's just about respect. Well, you, you chose to come out here today and talk about things. Do you feel good about that now? Yeah. Do you, at this moment, feel like you're going to continue? Just over it. What are you over? All this dumbass drama. So how are we going to end All it? All of this. How are we going to end it? Ignore it. All right, Brianna, what if you did go off the show? Let's just, let's just play it out as a thought experiment. You yeah. go off the show, 
You're still fighting with Kale? No. Good riddance. But why can't you do that and be on, be on the show? We could. If she would Not we, never, you. I'm about you. I could. If she would have never tried to attack me this morning, everything would have been fine. We only see each other maybe twice out of the year. I would have kept to myself. She would have kept to herself and called it a day. But no, she wants to feel some type of way. She wants to feel tough. And I'm not just going to sit here and act like I'm going to have let somebody yell at me or let somebody think it's okay that they can disrespect me. That's just, I'm, that's not the person that I am. But I don't know. This is just too much for me. And I'm... Um, I don't want to do it anymore. Okay, I, I hear your ambivalence. You go back and forth between things are okay and I don't want to do it anymore, okay? I want to thank both of you for coming back out. I think it took a lot of courage and I appreciate it. Let's talk about the fight that happened here. What about it? <laughs> well, I'd like to know what happened in the room. Brianna was alleging that you asked her to punch her no, I told her to get up because I was ready to fight one-on-one -on -one in a room with nobody there. Because I don't need cameras. I don't need an audience. Physically fight? Yeah. She said you were in sneakers and braids in preparation for a fight. <laughs> I mean, we were. I went in there to talk to her. To talk? Mm -hmm. And then when she didn't have an explanation for why she felt comfortable saying what she said, then I said to square up. <laughs> and she wouldn't. And she, why are you acting like this? So I'm shocked at how everything played out on stage because when it was just the two of us, it was a completely different scenario. I, I, I want to drill in a little further. I already know what you're going to say. What am I going to say? A physical violence. No, 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 no. It goes without saying. It goes without saying. Yeah, yeah, oh. I mean, what, you, I mean. Uh, what was it she had said? Let me get my phone so I can read it. Oh, So, she said on Instagram, mm. shut the f up because she gets beat the f up in front of her kids. So that's when I, I really just had no, re I lost all respect. Like, I think that had Javi, Brianna, and I sat down in a room before this reunion and she didn't say that, we could have just maybe just kept it civil on stage. But now I'm confronting you about this and you don't really have an explanation for why you said that. So the fact that you brought my kids into it, I felt some type of way, and I wanted to handle it face-to-face, one-on-one. Well, what but did she say to that when you, I guess, confronted her? She about said, um, well, you talk about it. And then how did that trigger you to, I mean, you, you took it to violent place. Yeah, I did. H how did that happen? I mean, technically, no hands got thrown, right? Later. No. Okay, so tech, okay, so there, no hands were thrown. I told, okay. yeah, but she wasn't about, she's like, why are you acting like this? What do you mean? You, she literally told my friend that she was going to beat her up. She's going to beat her ass, me, her, keep the same energy, blah, 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 blah. So I came with the same energy. I literally texted her, let's talk. I brought the same energy, let's talk. So I went and talked to her. Did you get on the plane to come here with the idea that you were going to get in a fight with her? I was conflicted from the beginning. I was like, part of me wants to hit her and part of me has way too much to lose. Hitting her makes things better for you? Well, maybe she would shut the up. Think, think about it. it. Does not make things better for you. If it was anybody else, Dr. Drew, she would have been got beat up. If it was anybody else, but I because can't. it's me, I, how long do I have to keep my mouth shut? At what point can I stand up for myself, my family, my kids? Do you regret? The no. Way you, you have any regrets? No. I should have hit Britney first. So that's what my regret is. <laughs> I dropped off the boys with their dads, and later this week, I'm flying to Atlanta, where my co-host for Coffee Combos lives, so we can record some podcasts in person. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I just What's wanted to on? call you because I was on our Instagram, and I saw that we were, like, overwhelmed with messages to have Devoin on our podcast. Yes, I actually noticed that too. 
Okay. So what's the move? I messaged him on Instagram and I asked him if he would want to come on and he said yes. Okay. He said that he okay. would he would come to Atlanta. I don't know. I feel like he doesn't really have a chance to like say what he wants to say and like nobody hears his side of it because he always gets shut down. So I just I want to know. I want to give him a chance to like talk. For sure. Well, I'm excited about this. Yeah, well, same. Just let me know dates and we'll start planning and everything and it'll be it'll be fun and it'll be good. All right, sounds good. All I'll right, talk, talk to you soon. You All right, bye. Bye. I got to Atlanta earlier and we're recording some podcasts today. Hello. Come in. Come on in. Hi. How are you? Good, good, good. How you doing? Hi, I'm Lindsay. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Des Moines. Des Moines. Hey. Correct. Okay, yeah. awesome. Because that was one of the things that I wanted to clarify on the podcast. What's going on though? How y'all doing? We're good. Hold on. Will you put on a coffee combo hoodie and take a picture with us? How do you think this is gonna play out? Like when this all comes out that you're here? Uh, like, is this gonna be bad? Not for me. Hell no. No, awesome. we're just talking about this. How do you stand looking this way? So you also, uh, gonna I'm going to go on the left. Flag Brown is going to have an article for you. Great. Oh. It's not, I, I didn't ever want this to be a bashing fest. It was more like to clear the air kind of thing. No, nah, you, you, oh, you're you not out of pocket at all. You okay, didn't do yeah, nothing. Are we good? A little bit forward for me. Perfect. There we go. That's cute. You think we got it? <laughs> I hope. I was a little nervous for this one. All right, you guys, we're recording and welcome to another episode of Coffee Combos Podcast. And we have a guest today. We're going to get right into it. And it's Devoin, not Devon. Devoin, correct. Okay, all right. So before we get started, why do people think that your name is Devon? Well, I kind of take blame for that personally. I just really don't. I never really corrected people for that. But I don't know, growing up, like even after correcting all the teachers that taught me like they never got it right okay so it wasn't a brianna thing it wasn't a brianna thing got it okay definitely not her. it's not her fault okay cool i feel like a lot of our listeners and our viewers of teen mom 2 don't know who you are that's a fact they don't who is devoin you grew up where in florida or no where did you I'm grow from up? michigan you're from michigan, Lansing, michigan okay Capitol, so michigan. how did you end up meeting brianna and what is the whole story behind that I met her on social media we were in high school i was maybe a grade two grades above her and, you know, we end up meeting each other and next school year, we started dating. Okay. And boom, I'm gonna say maybe four months into dating, she's pregnant. So you were on board with, you know, helping raise the baby yeah, and absolutely, all of that? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong. When she was pregnant, we were definitely, you know, I definitely didn't grasp the fact that, yeah, we're not together, but it's still your kid. You have to do your, have to do your at the end of the day. Right. So I what do it. you like to do outside of baby and mom drama and, and parenting? parenting what do you, what does De Devoin like to do? I like to cook. That's one thing I can say. Okay. I like, I like to cook. So does Nova help you cook ever? Nova, she got a, she got the attention span of a peanut. <laughs> Nova ain't finna sit in no kitchen. She might say, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Let's right, do right, right, right. That's all kids, I feel we got, like. We got, the, we got the chicken wings clean. Okay, let's go do this now. Right, right. So what's y'all's dynamic with each other? Is it? Well, what? me, it's just the Nova show. Whatever she want to do, we can do. Yeah. But yeah, we have a pretty good relationship, though. I like my relationship with her. I guess Brianna was upset about you not showing up for Nova. What mm -hmm. is your side of that? I definitely forgot that I was supposed to pick her up. Yes, mm -hmm. I did. You know what I mean, I, I, I forgot. I mean, we're both mothers, so mm -hmm. I think that, you know, certain things we understand from a perspective of a mom, and it's nice to hear a dad's perspective that's yeah. in the situation. Most of my friends are fathers too. We're all dating at the same age, all got kids. So it's like, some of them are worse than me. Like they're worse people than me. I'm not the most perfect person, no. But just seeing how freely their baby mothers give them their kids is like, what the is wrong with me? Like, am I, I'm not a felon. I ain't got nothing on my record. Like what, why won't you just throw her at me? Like You've said before, that you like having everything in writing because yes because that's that what the way, fallback is yeah like, that's a fallback and if you can't agree and be normal mm -hmm. humans with each other then you have to fall back on the custody arrangement right what do you want to see moving forward with like your with everything you're with nova with brianna with the show like what what are what's next like what's your ideal scenario ideal scenario I'm trying to lock in on the house real soon, you know? From that, you know what I mean? Me and Nova can do whatever. It's like the sky's the limit. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Appreciate I appreciate it. it so much. No it was problem. definitely nice getting to know Devoin and the backstory and who Devoin is. Yes, I agree. Absolutely. No problem, I appreciate it. Thank you for the opportunity. All right, guys, that is all we have for today. See ya.
I think it was cool to kind of give him a platform to talk about more than just the show. I don't feel like it turned into a bash fest at all. I do think that some of the, the situations that Devoin talked about with us are similar to my story. If he ever was feeling like he wanted to post things online or stir the pot a little bit, speaking from experience, it's never worth it because it never got me anywhere. Um, and so it's never gonna benefit his co-parenting relationship. Oh, are you ready for it's raining! Go, go outside. The girls are keeping me busy and we had an amazing summer. Things with Javi are good and a few weeks ago he proposed. I said yes, but I'm not ready to start planning a wedding just yet. On top of all this, I recently said some things about a cast member online. I got some information about Kale. She no longer wants to film about her true life. And last night, she served me for it. I just had to step away from work for a little bit. Um, I'm waiting for a lawyer to call me, but um, Kaylin is trying to sue me for the formation of character. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Um, I got summoned and I look at who's trying to summon me and I laughed. So um, I guess you would call that white privileged. I don't know. I guess I would call her a Karen because that's what she is. I'm annoyed at this point. Whatever, someone needs a storyline, so I guess we're just gonna take it as it comes. I'm meeting with some lawyers today who will hopefully help me figure out how to respond to this lawsuit. I found two really, hopefully, good lawyers. I put my retainer in. Um, I've never gotten sued before, so this is like a whole new level. This is like some rich people. And I feel like now, <laughs> oh, now I'm like a rich bitch getting sued. Like this is hilarious. I'm not trying to spend all this money to fight over something that could be handled off, out of the court system. This is something that her and I can actually have a conversation and talk about like as two grown adults, but whatever. Thanks, Kaylin. I have all the boys this week, and between football, my podcast, and the new house, my days are kind of crazy. Plus now, I'm dealing with this lawsuit. Hello, sir. Hello. You ready to go to the new house? And go see, I think they put the walls in. That would be cool to see your room with some walls in it. Let's go! <laughs> four kids, mm -hmm. four different ages, four mostly different interests. Mm-hmm. Is, is it tricky though to keep everything together without? I mean, no, at this point, I, I swear to you at this point, I don't know what I would do without the without the chaos. Like, I don't know what I would do without it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like not hard, I just do it. What is going on with Javi? I'm just gonna lay it out there. I know. I was in a football say, game. We're gonna say, no, we're gonna And say. it was flirty AF vibe. Mm-mm, not on my end. Have you picked up on that on his end at least? Yeah, it's just like, I would never date a man with kids, so. <laughs> Even if it's your own? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wouldn't happen. <laughs> I would not. Um, well, if there's nothing else about Javi, other baby father, Chris. Mm -hmm. Is is not up for conversation, ever. We're not talking about that guy? No. Can you talk to me what parenting Lux and Creed looks like? I mean, I have them 99% of the time. Um, and it's hard because there just, there isn't the involvement that the other dads have. We try as much as possible to do third party pass offs. I really don't like to, we don't like to interact with each other and it's just kind of unnecessary, like for what? How are you and Joe co-parenting with Isaac right now? What does that look like? It's not great at all. Like if I, um, you know, go to Joe about an issue that I have, like I, I feel like I'm being pretty respectful and like calm about it and I get insults back. It's like I don't react to things the same way. I don't feel the same way about things, but I still get treated like I'm the kill from years ago. And um, this Brianna lawsuit this is the first lawsuit that I've ever like, been this knees deep into, like I've never, I don't know. Why is this lawsuit important? Because I'm, I'm honestly tired of untrue things being said. I, I can't tell you, I've done so much in my life and I, by 
I mean, like, I, the mistakes that I've made, things that I've done that just, like, are uh, morally wrong and unethical, like, the things that I have done right, don't f on them. Right. Don't f on them. And I'm not gonna take accountability for things I didn't do. Are you? It's so cold in here. Yeah. So what's up with the lawsuit? Your home girl. Your my best home friend. My bestie. Oh, I love her. Care. She's the best person in the world. No, um, I found a lawyer too. Um, I like them a lot. Okay. Hopefully it gets settled like sooner than later because I don't want this to drag out. Just when my life was like calming down and I thought like things were getting put together, like it was the quiet before the storm pretty much. Madam, who would you like to do a pedicure on you? I like Diki. Okay, I gotta touch your crusty toes. What is this for? I don't know. I feel better after talking to Hobby. I haven't heard anything from my lawyers about the lawsuit and I agreed to do a podcast with Chris. What's up? How you doing? I'm okay. Living my best life, you know. So I need to know if you can pick up the girls on Friday after school. Um, Why right, were you going? I'm going to Philly. For what? Um, Chris reached out to me. Who is Chris? Kale's that... baby daddy. Mhm. Mm Get the out of my car. What's Get that? out of my car. You. They can hear you. You they too. Can see you. Too. How do you know Chris? Um, we speak sometimes like on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Like he'll write on my story or I'll write on his and we just like to chat on Instagram sometimes. And then he asks for my number. I gave it to him. Girl, you just be messy. And then he wants to invite me on his podcast to do like an episode on his what? podcast. His podcast is about like single dads. So he just wants like a single mom perspective on things. So. Why are you doing it? To get back at her? No. It's gonna cause drama, you know that. Cause there's enough drama with this bitch it. as it is. You don't need no more. Where does he live? In Delaware. So he's he's driving to Philly. He's not coming here. I'm not going to his house. It's literally one mutual spot that we can both meet up and be professional. There's no like other motives. I don't like him. He doesn't like me like that. There's no like sneaky links going on. It's literally just something that we're gonna do. Okay, as long as you know that there's gonna be a lot of bull behind it. Um, and yes, you know I can see how there could be, but there shouldn't be. But there will be. But there, but it shouldn't be. But there will be. When Devon went on her podcast, because you're never Brianna, made a you're not out here suing bitches for yeah. stating facts on the internet. Yeah, that's true. Did you tell Javi that you were gonna do this? Mm-hmm. I told him he knows. Oh, I don't keep said. anything from him. He obviously has his concerns like you, like, are you sure like this is a good idea as far as like backlash? Javi said, you know, it is what it is. I support you, do what you want. Um, just don't make me look stupid. Pretty much what he said. How would you make him look stupid? I don't know, he's a man. You going by yourself? I'm going with Shirley. Oh, That's why it. are you going with Shirley and not Javi? If Abby has know. concerns. Maybe I'm more comfortable with Shirley. Shouldn't you be more comfortable with your man though? I'm going on Chris's podcast. We're recording in Philly tomorrow and Shirley and I just got into town. So Chris and his friend are coming over later to meet up. They said there was like a backyard or something. This is cute. What is up with my hair? Girl, my hair is a hot mess. Oh, and then we're gonna probably go to like a rage room, like smash. Ooh. Oh. Gosh, go to the Hi! Hey, hey, how are you? How are you? Yeah. How are you? I'm good, I'm good, how are you? I'm good, how was the drive? That was cool. cool, not too bad. No, I'm waiting for my friend Shirley. She's upstairs getting dressed, but you can sit down. Shirley, this is my best friend, Shirley. Hi. This is Chris. Hey. Nice to meet you guys. Brad. So what's going on? I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, no. You're nervous? Hell yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Why? Yeah, you know. Why Do you see nervous? all this? Do you see all this? I mean, I'm using the camera like. I mean, 
Well, you can't do that now. It's time to like. Relax, I'm not gonna do what I think I'm gonna do. But yeah, I want to know more about the podcast. What like topics? Like, what are we talking about? Uh, parenthood, of course. You know, co-parenting is a uh, inconsistent father. Yeah, is it worse than the absent father? Absent father. Mm, Good question, because I definitely deal with that. Definitely traumatizing to the child, but. To me, I think In and Out. Yeah, I feel like In and Out is definitely worse. So, like, what's going to happen now when you drop this podcast? Like, do you think your baby mama's going to be, like, upset? Yeah. yeah it's going to blow up. It's, it's going to blow be, like, up. Gonna I want to steer turn. away from her as much as possible because I am going through a lawsuit right now with her. Um, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. It's crazy because now I have a lawyer. I've never had one. She I had do. one lawyer and I paid him for no reason. No reason. Yeah, Terrible. I I've been defending myself for like the last four years. Really? Oh. You got custody agreements because you defended yourself? Mm -hmm. Wow. So what's your visitation status right now? What you mean? Like what? It's a set schedule. Like every other week I get them for a certain amount of days, but okay. it's corny to me. Like why can't I chill with my kids the way the other dads get to chill with they do? Have yes. you asked that? And, yes. what, and what do they say? <laughs> you don't get into it. <laughs> they, like you're not up to par in their eyes? I don't know, they can't say that. They can't say that because when we good, I can see my kids whenever I want. So but then, then when they get in their feelings, it's a whole different story. So now do you have to like pretend to be nice to her so you can get your kids? Ah, it ain't no pretending. Like I'm it's genuine. Like I try to be nice, but sometimes they just take like you only can handle so much. Like I know it sounds crazy, but like when you just get to a point and you've been dealing with stuff for so long, yeah. I became like real, real angry through all this. Angry, bitter, resentful, all that. I took myself to therapy. So, how are we doing this tomorrow? Like, you're bringing your gear here, or like, what's what's the deal? Yeah, it's got, you know, it's, it's just a computer and mics. Okay, yeah. computer and mics. Book just shut it up. Yeah. Pop the questions out. Tornado coming. I just got back home, and I'm glad I got to meet Chris and do the podcast, even if it makes the situation with me complicated. Mommy! Look, I from the two fearing. What? Oh, man, that's crazy. Where's Nobi? She's up there. Get away. Okay. Oh, we got to sleep. Oh, you're back. Mm-hmm. So how was it? It was fine. I had a good time. It wasn't awkward. Like, it was good vibes, so that was good, because I was, like, nervous. It was going to be weird. Did you talk to Harold about any of this? What? After? Oh, I told Javi everything, like, where I went, what I was doing, like, what did he say? What can he say? No, what did he say? It's not what can he say. We know he can't say but what did he say? Because there's a difference. He told me that he didn't know I was doing all the extra stuff as far as like rage room. What did you think of the podcast though? Like the whole concept of it? It was fine. And you don't have to, you know, be edited or watch what you say, right? Well, yeah, we do gotta watch what we say, but. Why? Cause of kale, girl. But no, I'm not trying to get under anybody's skin. Um, but I guess people would see it like that. Everything makes Kale upset. Kale's never happy. She looks at people, I feel like, as they're her territory. She'll be all right. She'll get over it. We'll all be fine. We'll all get over it. How you feel about the podcast we just did with Rihanna? That joke's cool, man. I feel like it'd be a pros and cons with bringing Rihanna on the podcast. Yeah. I mean, it's only one con that I can really think about. <laughs> Pissing Kale. Yeah. Like, Kale's not gonna like it off the fact that it's just Brianna. That's it. So, it's just like, if I post certain things, I know it's gonna get a reaction. Yeah. I gotta be ready for that, yeah. you know? You think it's gonna start some fireworks? All right, I'm just putting it like this. You know how the fireworks that shoot up really high and they explode? Yeah. It's a really good show. That's it. That's all. <laughs>